Get ready, because you about to be an ATL. -L -E you know what? You know what? I was just chilling, minding my business. Then some somebody tagged me in some bullshit. And I'm like, you know what? Don't talk to me like that. Thank you. What has happened? What is going on? You know, everybody's talking about the Tasha K, Cardi B case and how Tasha K lied about Cardi B having herpes and HPV and how she lied and admitted to lying and blah, 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 blah. And I've been telling you she's been lying for years. Okay, I've been telling y'all that. But why in the midst of talking about Cardi B and Tasha K, a certain blogger decided to throw me in the mix. Blue on me. And I'm like, what the hell? Well, I'm sitting here minding my business. I'm like, Nene. Now, why am I in it? Fun. And you could have did now, it. See, so, I, get I, did it you never I ain't even did that. I ain't even did that. I ain't did that. Been sitting here minding my business. Then took months off the blog. Then chilling. Been on YouTube. Having me a good old time. We come out here. We cackle. We laugh, we have fun. I sit here and talk to my good old squad members. We sit over there on Discord and Patreon and have game nights and talk and have us a good old time. But clearly, <sighs> the ghost of Christmas past, honey, grimace, then came back to hunt me. Y'all see my thumbnail? Have y'all seen my thumbnail? Grimace has came back to hunt me. And I'm like, why is Grimace, why he got my, why he got my name in his mouth? I ain't said nothing. I ain't even brought him up since I was uh, beefing with Junkie Dineva. When I said him and Junkie Dineva was lovers, allegedly, you know, everybody got to say allegedly, but I was there when they was tongue kissing down to the Harold's chicken and waffles. I was there, saw it with my own two eyes. <sighs> Anywho, I'm listen. I'm not even here. I don't even want to drag on. I'm just like, I just want to know why you lie. Why you lie? Okay, let me put my thing up here. Y'all know how I am. You know, this is a business. Okay, we are straight from the ALLC. Does not steal content. Let me put my disclaimer up here. This is my copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act. Okay, allowance is made for fair use for purposes as criticism, comment. News reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. I'm going to do a little research this afternoon. I'm going to do a little research this afternoon, and I'm going to show you how lies can spread, how people can try to damage your reputation, okay? From one blogger to the next, I'm just going to show you how this happens and how, you know, it can spread like wildfire. You know, y'all ever played telephone? Y'all know how one person says something wrong and it keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. And then by the time you get to the tenth person, you know, the, 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 the lie has ex exploded and wasn't even what it was at the first time. Well, we going we gon' we I'm gonna show you. You see Grimace? Okay, do you see Grimace? There he go right there. Shout out to Mr. Mr. Dennis Byron. He was talking about Dennis Byron covering the Cardi B case. And I'm actually coming on tonight to talk about it, but you know, there's that. But I just want to bring bring you into speed of, of what um, Grimace said about me. Hold on. Take your ass to court because a lot of times stuff like this doesn't happen. I think the only, only other time I remember something like this happening is was um, straight from the A. Michelle Brown um, was sued. But who was that? One of the members of like, it was a whole like situation for B2K. Well, if you're going to tell the story, tell the story correctly. It was not a member of B2K. It was actually Chris Stokes. Chris Stokes. Y'all know I have talked about this. How many times? How many times have I talked about this situation where Chris Stokes tried to sue me about what Raz B said? Okay. What up? It's Raz B from Beats K. Straight from the A.com. Okay. Come on, let's continue. Hey, what was it? No, it wasn't B. Wait, it wasn't B2K. That you know, she was making up stories and well, stuff. Who and was it? I was making up. Wait, 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 wait. Now he's saying it wasn't B2K, it was B2K, but I was making up stories. So, wait, he's doing a video about Tasha K and Cardi B and Tasha K making up lies about Cardi B. But this big brown shirt wearing Negro is sitting on his channel lying about me and can't even get the story straight. He don't know who sued me. 
He don't know why they sued me. And then go had a nerve to say, I made up a story. So how I make up a story and you don't even know who the story about. Now, um, listen, I've been in the blog game for 15 years, okay? I don't have time to teach other YouTubers and other bloggers how to be bloggers. But one thing I know for sure is if you're going to tell a story, at least at the minimum, have your facts straight. So he claims I was lying, right? So if I was lying, what does that mean? Because, you know, the stories that I was writing was about Rasby. Y'all remember Rasby accused Chris Stokes of molesting him, right? So the stories that I was writing that are still on straight from the A today, straight from the A.com, type in straight from the A.com on Google and Rasby, and you will see the many stories I wrote about Rasby and Chris Stokes over the years. They are still published today. I pay my hosting bill every month. Anyway, I'm digressing. He's accusing me of lying about Chris Stokes molesting Raz B when Raz B to this day in 2022 says that it still happened. And this is a man who advocates for, you know, uh, HIV. He advocates for the LGBTQ community. He advocates for victims. But you're telling me that I lied. On, on Chris Stokes, who allegedly molested Raz B. So basically, you calling Raz B a liar. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's continue. And homeboy sued the hell out of Michelle Brown, and she's still making payments on shit. I think he sued her for close to me or a couple hundred thousand dollars. Girl, she got to make payments every month. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I got to make payments every month. Bitch, I don't even make pa car no payments. Bitch, I don't even make <laughs> I own everything I got, okay? People is mad. The girls is mad, honey. I got several houses, several cars, ain't making not damn payment, but he got the nerve to go on his channel in a big brown shirt and giggle and say that I'm still making payments to this day. <laughs> I demand a retraction. I demand a retraction. I demand either you need to cut that little situation out of your video or you will be getting a cease and desist from my attorney. Okay. You know what? I want my attorney to call in. I, ooh, I want my attorney to call in because you know what? I can have all the receipts all day long. I can show you all the paperwork all day long, but it won't matter because, you know, y'all, y'all like word of mouth because, you know, if he say it, that means it's true. But if my attorney say it, if uh, a member a ward of the court say it, it, you know, I'm just saying my attorney can't lie. He can't lie. Hold on. Let me send my attorney. First of all, I ain't playing. I'm going to let my attorney tell y'all because y'all ain't going to believe me anyway. He went to court, honey. He went to court. Talk about I've been sued. I bet she got sued for millions and she's still paying him to this day. First of all, he, go over there. Look, he couldn't even tell you who sued me. Uh, B2K or uh, somebody. And she lied. Who did I lie on? What did I say? I said that Rise B said that Chris Stokes molested him. That's what I said. I said that Rise B was accusing Marcus Houston of touching him. That's what I said. And I posted the videos of Rise B saying it. But Chris Stokes, his little grimy ass, did not want the videos out there on my channel. I wasn't the only one saying it. TMZ was saying it. But guess what? I was the smaller blog. I'm a strong black woman. TMZ is a, a Jewish man over there running a conglomerate. Who he going to go for? Think about it. Me. And he did. He didn't think I was going to fight. And I fought tooth and nail because I said I was not taking it down because I ain't lie about a motherfucking thing. Now, if I had, listen, if I had lied, I would have took it down now, but I didn't lie. So I stand behind everything I say all, all the time. Okay. Yes. Haters got jobs to do. Lame as hell. Okay. Lame as hell. Now he talk about it's a lie. This should have been saved for tonight. That's okay. Listen, I was in my feelings. I happened to be sitting on the couch and I saw it and I was like, I will not wait. Okay. Let me call my lawyer while he's still on the clock. Let me get him on here. Let me let him tell y'all. And then I'm going to go back to watching whatever it is I was watching on TV. <sighs> Calling my attorney. Calling my attorney. Hello. Um, hi, Mr. Miller. How are you? Good. 
you want me to log in? Yes, click the link I sent you. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm sorry, I'm looking at some Oh, okay. No, no worries. <laughs> You got to make money. I'll pay you for this. Bill me for this little 10 minutes. Don't bill me a lot, though, because I know. Hello. Hello. Hi, Mr. Miller. Hi, Ms. Brown. How are Look you? you? Looking all good. <laughs> fat, as, fat as a tick. You looking all important over there. You at work today? I am working from home today, trying not to catch COVID. Okay. Believing, believing in the science, believing me in the too. medicine. They said you was handsome, honey. Oh, thank you, Chantal. They said you're going to send me a bill. Listen, y'all need to be on my side. Y'all need to help me pay this. Send me some super chats or something because Mr. Miller might charge me for this. This impromptu life. Y'all need to stay out of Michelle Brown's pockets. <laughs> Tell him, Mr. Miller, don't I pay too much in legal fees? Out of Miss Brown's pockets. Okay, Mr. Miller. Okay. Yes, Ooh, look at that turtleneck. Oh, you looking good, Michael. I just want to come over there and kiss you. Gotta come over here with a good light. Okay. Listen, Mr. Michael, can we talk for a minute about this lawsuit? Um, someone actually just lied on me and said that um that someone from B2K or whoever sued me for millions and won, and that I am still paying them to this day. So that is absolutely a hundred percent inaccurate and incorrect information. Okay. Michelle Brown was sued on okay. three separate occasions. Three. By the, three by the same um, person in California once and twice in Georgia. And on all three occasions, those cases were dismissed. There was never what? a judgment. They were dismissed? They were dismissed. There was never a judgment. Mm. had um, mm. nor was there any money judged against you nor has there been any money collected Ooh. so why pray tell is somebody on they lie on their channel s comparing me to the tasha k thing talk about i'm still paying a judgment to this day so if a judgment exists <laughs> i have never seen it i don't believe you have ever seen it nor has anyone ever tried to collect it against you. And how many so, years has this been? Uh, tax in my memory, I would say this at least five years ago was the last okay. time. We so do I owe any judgments at all, Mr. Miller, that you will? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> With regard to this, no, but I don't know if you owe judgments for other things. Okay. <laughs> Listen, we can put my credit report out I now. I just say, do I oh, listen? Let me rephrase the question, Your Honor. Do I owe any judgments relating to straight from the A.com, the blog? Not. As long as I have been representing you, which has been a lot of years, you have not um, owed any judgments to anybody for anything. Okay. All right. Yes. Well, Mr. Miller, we need to have you on here once a week talking about legal stuff. Oh, God. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody loves you. Look at everybody loves you. They say you're so cute. Look at them. Oh my God, I'm so fucking fat. Excuse my language. They said lunch on them. They just, look, Lucinda just sent me $100 to take you to lunch. Oh, hey, thank you, Lucinda. That might pay for some lobsters. So we got to go eat. We need to eat. Ain't no place to, safe to eat these days. I know, right? All the restaurant folks have Miss Rona. Well, my COVID taste test was negative, so praise as long as Jesus. you ain't got it, and I ain't got it. We can go somewhere. Praise Jesus, uh, Tyler. I would love to go to dinner. However, I'm a married man. Ooh. Me. Ooh. <laughs> Close Period. your legs to marry men. <laughs> you I love you, Michael. I really do. On wigs. <laughs> So would it be fair for me to act, to ask for a retraction of that statement? I think it would be fair for you to ask for a retraction. And you know how people are, though. It may not ever be retracted. And I don't know that it really matters. You know, yeah, he, you, live in, you live in your truth every day. This true. person does not. This person does not know you. Um, if they were doing well, I met him once or twice. 
Well, if they were doing proper research, they would know what case, what courts these cases were filed in and could very well look up what's going on with them. I agree with that. Okay. So I shouldn't send a cease and desist. I, I, I don't know what it's ma- what it would matter. This is what I always tell clients. You can't make people do anything. The courts mm. can't really make people do anything. I can't make somebody sue you. I can't make somebody not sue you. I can't make somebody take stuff down. Mm-hmm. We threaten them. But at the end of the day, does it hurt you? No. You know, like they say, all, all press is good press. So mm. the more they're talking about you, obviously you're interested. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's talk about this. Justin J just posted an article from Rolling Out that Chris Stokes won a, a lawsuit against me. Go ahead, Mr. Miller. I, I'm, I am not aware of that. I have been your counsel for many years. I have represented you in three separate suits by Chris Stokes, all of which have been dismissed. Okay. Now, now Rolling Out, remember we contacted them? We did, and they would not take anything down. Okay. So does that mean that it's true just because rolling out is posting it? It doesn't. And, you know, I think where where people get in the crosshairs with me about this is you were merely reporting a an accusation that was made by an accuser. Mm-hmm. When these lawsuits were filed, we were not within the Me Too movement. We mm-hmm. are now squarely within the Me Too movement. Mm-hmm. So any of Mr. Stokes' anger or frustration on this should be against his accuser because his accuser has never backed down, as I understand it. Brass B, yes. I think there was an article or a, a posting within the last year or something where Rasby had um, commented on this again and that it is the truth. Mm-hmm. So for anyone to to make these allegations, it's not just on you. It It is squarely on Rasby and, and the truth and veracity of an accuser. And I think, you know, to put the shoe on the other foot, if he were a woman, we would not be able to do that in this day and age. Mm. But because the man and because there is a hyper masculinity within some different groups, they feel like, oh, I can just come back at him because um, I'm sure that didn't happen. He wasn't molested. I don't know whether it happened or not. You don't know whether it was happened or not. We weren't Mm -hmm. in the, I have no idea. It may have, it may not have. Mm -hmm. However, he made the accusation. He was there. And so why why is someone, whether it's a police or a prosecutor or someone, not investigating these allegations and trying to figure out once and for all about putting this to bed? Because if, it really, if it really did happen, I mean, look what's happened today. Right. I agree. He, he just stripped Prince Andrew of everything. Mm-hmm. Not a member of the family anymore. You're on your own. You're a proud. I wish you. Uh, I wish more people would listen to Rasby. You know what I'm saying? It, it would be, you know. But I feel it. bad for him because having known other people, friends of mine who were molested in the past, to gaslight someone by saying that that this is not the truth or it is not for real Mm -hmm. is very dangerous. It has a chilling effect on everyone, on all the victims. Again, I don't know whether this really happened. You don't know whether it really happened, but if somebody accuses you, then quite queer clearly and quite squarely things should be investigated. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Especially. I just don't like the fact that somebody actually said that I made it up. I made it up. Why, what do you have to gain from that? <laughs> exactly. It, it, I was reporting it, on Raz B who said his truth, whatever that was. And that was it. I had no dog in the fight. And we're still talking about this when it's a situation of this being something that is an individual who may or may not even be relevant at this point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So why, why is that? Who who's fueling the fire? Is this someone from the person who's coming at you's camp? 
mm. trying to make sure that they're still getting some. Traction. I don't know what his his logic was in bringing me in it, and I don't know what his logic was in lying on me and saying that I was still paying. So, I mean, does he have access to my bank account to know what I am paying to this day? I'm just trying to figure this out. And did rolling out never say anything about me paying something to this day? Where did he get that from? What? What? I'm just—he's making up stories. Just a she's straight liar. Rich. She's rich, y'all. <laughs> no, you're rich. Money to the ceiling. I just have rich friends. As if. <laughs> As I want to be like you, Michael, when I grow up. Mm, we're we're so past being friends. It's not even funny at this point. I know, right? I love you so much. I love you. I really well, I will let you get back to work, and I appreciate you taking time out of your very busy day to talk to me. Um, anytime. Absolutely happy to. All right. Yep. Air, thank you for having me on. If you need anything, you know, I'm always at your disposal. Thank you, and thank you right. for clearing everything up. All right. All right. Bye. <sighs> now, um, I don't care what he posts. He can post some bullshit off the back of his shoe. You have got it straight from the mouth of attorney Michael Miller. Michael Miller is a law uh, officer of the court. Michael Miller cannot lie on my behalf and he will not lie to say who won what in court. Show me the receipts, Justin J. If you're such a great blogger and you're not lying, show me these court documents that say that I lost and that I am paying millions of dollars to this day. So you're depending on rolling out? Rolling out can make up stories just like you can. I want to see what you got to say since you said it on your YouTube channel. Either retract it or, um, yeah. For the record, as of Thursday, February 10th, 2022, the Rolling Out article has been officially deleted. Yeah, but I know he ain't got nothing. <laughs>